So today we are checking out this under cabinet organizer here. This is great for underneath sinks, bathroom sinks, kitchen sinks, whatever, um, wherever you need a little bit more organization. And the cool thing about this is it has this little non-slip um, kind of material right here. It comes in the bottom piece right here. This is how it comes out of the box. And then you have a top piece that uh, you can attach to it. And then it has these two little poles to go through and do that. And then these screws to um, put it on. The, the uh, assembly on this is super easy. Basically it's four different steps. I'll go over it right now. Um, you probably will want a drill to go through and do this. Um, so the first thing you need to do is go out and measure where you want to drill the holes. I like that you're able to, you, this is one that you drill into the uh, actual cabinet. So that way when you start putting heavier things on it, it doesn't tip over. This is also like a metal, so it's like very, very sturdy. Um, and this of course does slide out. I'll show you how it kind of works here in just a minute. It does come with this nice little drilling. It does come with this nice little drilling template as well to lay this down and it tells you exactly where you need to go through and drill the holes. So we're gonna go through and get these holes in and uh, get this thing all installed. So total measurements to keep in mind on this thing is it's 15.7 inches tall, 13 inches, 0.4 inches wide, and then 16 inches. Okay, so we went through and marked where we're gonna put these screws in. There's basically four screws is the only um, assembly that you really need. And this is where they're gonna go through and go. So I marked where they're gonna go in this cabinet. We're just gonna put this in right here. Kinda extend it out like this. And then now we can go through and drill in those holes. Okay, and you can see this will now go through and slide out. And now what's great about this is you can either put this top part on the left side or on the right side. You can see that these poles can either go in this hole over here and you can mount it on this side or you can mount it on the right side. Now for me, I'm gonna be putting it on the right side, just like this. So you just slide those poles in. It does come with this little mat as well, which is really nice. It slides right in here. Makes it look really clean and organized. And then all we do is take this and put it on the top and slide it on like so. Let me get you a better view of that. So now you can see we have this that goes through and slides out. Um, when it hits a certain point right here, you can see it's locked, you can't take it out any further. And because it's screwed in, this isn't gonna go through and fall out on you. Look how far out this thing can um, uh, go out, which is really nice. You can put a ton of stuff in here. Okay, and here you have it. You can see when you go through and pull everything out, it doesn't fall on you. There's a lot of weight on here. And I do also wanna call out how tall of things you can put. I have a couple of these different kind of uh, under desk or, or organ, under cabinet organizers, and very few of them ha are tall enough to fit things like this. So I like that you have this up here where you can go through and kind of put things, but then it doesn't cut off space where if you had more taller things like these bottles, um, so it has plenty of room. I mean, even with this bottle, it can fit underneath there as well, but um, really nice design. I absolutely love this thing. I love that it's screwed into the cabinet so it doesn't fall over anything on you, especially when you have kids that are coming in here and maybe messing things around. Um, definitely something I would recommend.